No Sleep Till Hammersmith, Motorhead. In the late 70s and early 80s, it was not a night out in London if you did not at some point bump into Lemmy. He was once at a gig I played at the Camden Palace, but only propping up the bar. He was playing Space Invaders in the Embassy Club, and I once took two female friends to a party and he went off with both of them. Motorhead were heavy metal for punks. I saw them supporting the Damned at the Roundhouse, and Lemmy once played bass with the Damned. I bought the 12 inch of their first single, the song Motorhead, because it was said to be the loudest single ever pressed. Motorhead, yeah! It was basically a punk version of a song that Lemmy had written for Hawkwind, but there is always that arbitrary classification of genres thing going on. It separates things that are alike because of something as musically irrelevant as haircuts. The ex Hendrix Rhodey and singer of Silver Machine, with his long hair and his warty, craggy face, would never be more than an honorary punk. When Motorhead signed to the same label as Uriah Heep, they thoroughly nailed themselves to the heavy metal mask. But if you edit out the guitar solos on No Sleep Till Hammersmith, it could easily be the Ramones. It is frantic and wild with blistering versions of their better known songs like Ace of Spades and Bomber. It has the energy of a slightly better recorded version of the MC5's Kick Out The Jams. It is No Sleep Till Hammersmith, a live album by Motorhead.